How you doing? This is Zach Allen here at my new teaching studio in Valencia, California. We're going to do an online swing analysis with Santiago today. But first, let's take a look at his swing video. So you can see here, pre-swing fundamentals are very good. Grip stance, posture, ball position. Everything looks good. Backswing too is very good. Club face is a tiny bit closed, but really, you know, that's not a huge factor to me. Many great players play from that same position. Um, take a look at this face on view. Okay, so very good start to things thus far. But you're going to notice I have a line there drawn by the outside of his left foot. Watch how quickly the hips drive laterally towards the target. Okay, so that quick hip drive would be great if he was doing, say, the national long drive and was only interested in hitting the ball far. Um, this is a great way to get a good positive launch, hit the ball you know, from the inside and off a big tee, but definitely not good when you're trying to hit irons off the ground. You can see that's increased his right side bend quite a bit. Anytime your hips drive laterally that hard, you're going to get more right side bend coming into the impact area. Okay, so looking at it from the down the line view, you can see that red line I have drawn on his tush. When people go laterally hard to begin their downswing, instantly that pelvis is going to want to push forward or tuck in towards the ball slightly. Okay, so he's definitely, you know, um, definitely got some good player issues here. This usually only happens with your better golfers that are hitting it high and far, but maybe struggle with a little bit of consistency. But you can see from this position, the shoulders are quite a bit closed, probably 25 close to the target. Club head is sneaking underneath the swing plane there, and that pelvis is pushing in towards the golf ball. So anytime the body starts to kind of push in and stand up, the rotation is going to slow down, and that club is going to want to turn over at a very fast rate sometime. Didn't happen on this particular shot, but probably can happen sometimes, and that's when he'll get the overdraw. Okay. The issue with the swing path coming in too much underneath that blue line there you can see, right? that's happening because the shoulders are closed. If the face stays a little open, he can sometimes block the ball. So let's take a look at and compare him to some, uh, some professional golfers. Once again, driving the hips harder forward. You see the top of his left hip getting outside of that line pretty quickly, and that starts to increase that right side bend. We have professional golfer Mac O'Grady here, and take a look at the difference there. Watch how he separates his left knee from his right knee, and he's putting more weight pressure down and into the ground. Okay, so we see a, a very different look to that leg action. Two things I want you to pay attention to here are notice how the top of his left thigh, he's angled slightly back, and I also want you to notice the separation between his left and right knee. Very important things for having the right transition to set yourself up to load the ground and open up your body correctly without compromising some of those angles coming into the ball. So from this down the line view, you're going to see anytime the hips go laterally, the pelvis pushes off too quickly, shoulders come in a little close, and that club head is going to be approaching too much from inside the golf ball. So as we watch Mac again start down, you're going to see more of that sit down position as he puts more of his weight into the ground and opens his body up. Notice the flex in the legs. Notice how the butt is still on that tush line. Definitely more of a squatty look. So from here, he's going to be able to keep his shoulders more level, and he's going to keep the club more on top of the plane, not underneath it. So he's barely pushed off that line there. Santiago's pushed off a little bit more, and the shoulders now are too closed coming into the hitting area. He's probably 20 degrees closed. Mac is probably in this position, maybe 4 to 5 degrees closed with the shoulders. He has more pressure in his legs against the ground. He can continue to turn on through with a little more thrust to his body. At this point, he's run out of momentum with his body. He's got to let the hands, arms, and club release. And that's where sometimes he's going to get some of those overdraws. So you can see that's a very common problem, especially among you better golfers that are hitting the ball relatively far, but you're struggling with that two-way miss. Overdraws, pushes to the right. You feel your body early extending sometimes. Let's take a look at the proper feels so we can get the right lower body mechanics to improve that motion. So right away from the face on view, we can see his hips driving hard laterally to begin his downswing. You can see right away that increases my right side bend as I get into the hitting area. That's always accompanied with that look of 
early extending. As soon as people drive their hips laterally hard, the next thing is this, this tush starts to push in towards the ball, the pelvis starts to tuck in, and they lose their spine angle. That really limits the body's ability to rotate, so the shoulders are gonna be pretty closed. Usually the club's gonna get underneath the swing plane there. So the feels that we want to create first from this face on view, we want to see a different leg action. We want to see the legs work around and down. It's what I call a sit down position, okay? It's almost as if we're sitting down, putting our weight pressure more into the ground as we start our downswing. There is weight moving forward, but it's not driving hard forward 90% already, and then we've got nothing left to do but to stand up or back out of it. So up to the top, let the left knee get a little bit more external or out. The right leg is holding. I'm putting more weight pressure down. And as that happens, I can feel the club staying more in front of my body. No more working it this way, club getting deep in behind me. So from this view, you would start to see the lower body look a little different. Instead of it pushing forward and tucking in, you'd start to see gaining more angle in your lower body. I almost feel like my butt is going out backwards as if I'm boxing somebody out to get a rebound. So I'm working my hips down and around, down and around. So I would have you practice that slowly, maybe in front of a mirror, somewhere where you can kind of see what you're doing and really get that body awareness of how it feels. And then once you take it to the golf course, a good way to begin that practice is taking the club up to the top, rehearsing it once, twice, and then hitting it half speed until you start to get that feel. The hips working down and around as I squat and pressure the ground and my hands and arms working more out in front of me. You should also feel the club getting more on top of the swing plane instead of it getting sucked under. So once you've done that slow motion drill, work it into bigger swings just by simply going up to the top, one rehearsal of that feel, and then go ahead and hit it. But I promise you it'll take away that problem of the hips pushing forward and your body getting under and the club getting under. Give that a try and see if that helps. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also follow me on Instagram at Golf.